Now, as coronavirus rates continue to be wrestled under control, Israeli authorities working to make sure that it stays that way. Israel's Pediatrics Association announcing now plans to cooperate with Pfizer and BioNTech in vaccinating kids under 16 years old as soon as possible. But not every doctor is on board. Over 90 Israeli physicians penning a letter urging the government to hold off on such a move, at least until more evidence is gathered. And here to discuss is president of the Israel Pediatrics Association, Professor Tzachi Grossman, and Dr. Yoav Yechezkeli, specialist in internal medicine and medical management and lecturer in the Program for Disaster and Emergency Management at Tel Aviv University. Thank you both so much for being with us. Now, Professor Grossman, I'll start with you. Why is it so important to vaccinate kids, especially when the infections are already dropping without their inoculation? Well, the problem is that when we look uh, uh, the, uh, on the year that have passed and we analyze the morbidity of children, everybody says that uh, the morbidity was, was uh, mild and uh, very few children got sick. And this is not true because uh, um, we are happy the children were less severely hit than adults, but still we had close to 1,000 hospitalizations. We had... 120 of these with severe disease, uh, either corona or the delayed cardiovascular uh, syndrome. Uh, we had uh, 50 children uh, uh, admitted to intensive care units, and uh, unfortunately, we had, had also seven kids that died, of whom two at least were without any background comorbidities. So the, the, uh, this pandemic can have a hard uh, effect uh, on children. And the number is going down happily, but we must remember that in pandemics and in general infectious diseases, uh, they can rise again, and we don't want to see, again, children uh, suffering from this. We know that in every disease, like measles and so on, there are ups and downs, and the, the, the uh, diseases are never away for good. Hmm. So we would like to protect children as well as we are protecting adults. All right. Now, Dr. Yecheskeli, you're, you're one of the signatories who are against vaccine kids for the time being. What are your primary concerns? Look, every medical treatment that we give, including vaccinations, is, uh, is checked according to is it needed, is it effective, and is it safe? And the threshold to decide about that in giving vaccinations to healthy individuals is otherwise than, than giving medications to sick people or people who are in grave condition. So I, I argue that the disease in children is mild, is not, uh, is not severe. The numbers uh, Professor Bosman showed, really every child is a whole world, and we should strive to minimize the suffering of, every, of all children. But still, uh, looking at the statistics and also in comparison with other diseases, like even the flu in previous winter seasons, there were much more severely affected kids from flu in, in the years before. So, so this is, uh, the, the children are not vulnerable to, to the coronavirus. And on the contrast, the vulnerable population like the elderly and people with chronic diseases, most of them happily, at least in Israel, are mostly, most of them are already vaccinated. So uh, I don't see really the reason why to vaccinate children right now. So, so, can, I, so um, can I ask you a follow-up, Dr. Yechazkeli? What would it take to change your mind? Is that, is that an option? Uh, of course it's an option. We, say, we hmm. don't say do not vaccinate children. We say for now the evidence, the data that we have, including the data from the uh, research uh, the, the manufacturer have done in this age group from 12 to 16 is not enough. It's still short term, not enough children. And by the way, it was not pub even published. It was just given like a press release and we don't, without any peer review. So uh, we still have to see the data to be convinced that especially from the safety point of view. Look, in medicine, there is a, a great principle, first, do not do harm. We should really be sure. I want, as a physician, to be sure, and I want to be convinced that not uh, more harm is done than, um, than effectiveness by giving this vaccination. So, Professor Grossman, back to you. How, how do you respond to Dr. Yechezkeli and his concerns? Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy that you raised the issue of the study again, but I would like to clarify 
first of all, the, the, uh, um, this study on the uh, 12 to 15 years uh, adolescents was appropriately done uh, and according to uh, rigorous scientific criteria, how to conduct a study in a follow-up population. And uh, you remember we all had the, the results from the first study in December on adults, on 40,000 uh, adults. And the follow-up study is, is uh, designed differently. And this is based on, on rules that uh, were not uh, uh, invented yesterday uh, or the day before. There are rules how to conduct a study on a follow-up population, like uh, the adolescents in our case. It can be a shorter study. It can be on less uh, patients. And the, the main parameter is the immunologic power of the vaccine, the number of antibodies created. So it has different, slightly different targets. And the study is according to these criteria exactly. And uh, it's, uh, looking on possible side effects, we know, uh, we heard these, uh, these uh, um, uh, doubts before uh, the uh, vaccine rollout in Israel began. After the Pfizer study, everybody said, OK, this is only 40,000 participants, but what will happen if we vaccinate millions of citizens? And we know that we vaccinated millions and nothing else different, mm. nothing different happened from the, from the prof safety profile from the study to the real world. And we exactly hope that this will the same happen with children. And mm. I'm, uh, I'm happy that uh, Dr. Echeskeli will be happy, will be uh, uh, maybe ready to reconsider his position once he sees the FDA approval. Right. And uh, uh, maybe then he, he would be convinced that this, the risk, uh, because we are talking about the risk now, that the risk is negligible. I'm very looking forward to it. All right. Well, I think we're all looking forward to the results of the FDA trials. Dr. Yechis Professor Grossman, thank you both so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.